in Las Vegas. House Republicans are also going after the president's health care law. They filed suit today claiming he exceeded his authority by delaying parts of the law and making payouts to insurance companies. Nancy Cordes tells us the suit is one of a number of new setbacks for Obamacare. We have 7.3 million people paying premiums. Administration officials have claimed for months that the number of Americans signing up under Obamacare has surpassed their goal of 7 million. But then House Republicans asked to see the spreadsheets. Within 20 minutes after receiving the unlocked version, we had done the tabulation and realized something was very wrong in the figures. California's Daryl Issa, who chairs the Government Oversight Committee, says nearly 400,000 of those people were actually new dental subscribers who don't count. On Twitter, the Secretary of Health and Human Services called it a mistake. It's a mistake to bring false information to Congress. It's a mistake to mislead the American people. Why would they take the risk of deliberately padding the numbers by 5%? I think they needed to get to that 7 million. They would do anything to get to that 7 million. ISA has called a hearing for December 9th, where he also wants to hear from Jonathan Gruber, the economist who boasted in recently discovered speeches that language in the Obamacare law he helped to write was deliberately misleading. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. I think the American people need to hear uh, what he has to say. We don't fear his trying to say, well, I didn't really mean they were stupid. I didn't really mean they, they needed to be deceived, if that's what he has to say. In the lawsuit they filed today, Republicans accused the White House of overstepping its bounds while implementing Obamacare. It's a very similar case that they're planning to make about the president's new immigration plans as well. Jim? Nancy, thank you. This